Hello, everybody. This is George Ponder for WPCentral.com. I want to touch base uh, with Navigon's uh, street navigation or our GPS navigation app on how to find a destination, how to create that route. You've got a destination page on Navigon. Um, got a couple of choices how to find where you want to go. You can enter the address. You've got a take me home option where your route will be generated from your current location to the point that you've established as your home location. My destinations, that covers favorites and recent destinations. You've got coordinates where you can enter the coordinates of your destination. You can tap into your contacts. What it does, it pulls all the contacts that have an address to it, give you choices there. But we'll go enter address just using as as an example. Right now I've already used Alabama to find a destination, but when you first launch this, you're going to get a state view. You just choose your state, enter your city, and, we'll just, and there it, it is predictive text, so as you type it will search for cities of similar spelling, so you, maybe it'll speed things up. St enter the street name, Then you can enter either the street number or the intersection, and it'll pull up the intersections, or you just enter the number. Hit go to. If you have conflicting addresses like a north or a south, give you your choices to choose from. We'll go north. You'll then get a thumbnail view of your destination, any information. If it's a business, if there's a website or phone number available, it'll appear up here as well. Down below your options, you've got buttons to cancel the process, save the destination as a favorite, access your routing profile, which is your routing settings, and then start to generate your route. Now down below, you can save and pin this destination to your start menu for easy access, and send destination via text or email. We'll go ahead and start. Navigon will generate the route. Down below, you have three options. You've got My Route, and that's what Navigon recommends you to use based on your routing profile, and then two alternative ways to get to the same spot. Just push on one of those buttons, and your route is generated. You can scroll. It'll go into the map view to review your route. To get back to the routing, you just hit the back button. Down below, you've got buttons to control the volume, access your settings, your routing profile, and any tra traffic information. You can view the GPS information, points of interest on the route. If it's a multiple destination route, you can skip the current destination and go on to the next. Then you've got an option that I really don't know what it does. It's a block. You've got... Now turn right onto White Oak Drive. Now stop, stop. Well, that's what the voice sounds like, but you've got three options and highlight stuff, and I've yet to figure out what it highlights and what it does. But when you're scanning the map, you can go to um, entire route, so it'll show you your entire route. Go to your destination or set another destination with a push pin. Now to end the route, all you do is hit the back button. There's not an end route button or anything, you just hit back. Now here's one downside to this app that I've just discovered. It needs a home button, something that you can avoid having to hit back all the time. Let's just hit the X, maybe, there you go. Hit the X and that'll take you back to your pages. But there you have it, an overview on how to set a destination uh, from the destination page of Navigon.